And you see at least 58 illegal degree award universities in Nigeria. And later on the show, EFCC probes 52 companies over FX transactions with CBN. All details in a moment. Let's stay with us. And thank you for staying with us. This week, the Nigerian educational sector was thrown into disarray when the National Universities Commission, AUC, listed 58 illegal universities operating in Nigeria. The names include those claiming to be affiliates of foreign universities in the country. It also stated that also nine degree males are currently undergoing further investigations and court actions. The development followed the suspension of degree certificates from two Francophone West African countries after an undercover journalist detailed how he acquired a degree from a university in Benin Republic in less than two months and was deployed for National Youth Service Corps, NYC. Now, joining me to discuss this is Zikora Ibe, the Policy and Research Officer and Corporate Accountability and Public Participation Africa. Zikora Ibe, good evening and thank you for staying with us. Thank you so much. Good evening. Thank you for having me on the program. All right. Thank you. All right, let's kick off this uh, very quickly. Now, the NUC is obviously saddled with the responsibility to promote quality standards in our institutions. Now, this latest discovery with over 58 illegal universities has question marks written all over it. How did we get here? Thank you so much. Uh, I think that it's quite embarrassing and shameful at the recent discovery of certificate racketeering in other countries outside Nigeria. And um, it's commendable that the NUC has come out to denounce this situation and also promised to undertake an investigation. But then we must interrogate the underlying motivations that has gotten us to this point. At this point, it's important to say that having people, you know, flock to other African countries for a certificate shows something wrong with our society. It means that our society is definitely a certificate, um, a certificate possessed society. We, 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 we put, we depend solely on certificates in a way that doesn't even allow us interrogate if, the certif if, this, if these certificates are um, of quality or not. But then there's also the underlying insinuation there of what has happened to our own educational system over time that has made people look outward to gain the certificate that even we offer here in the country. For the past few years or for a very long time, Nigerian educational system, especially our tertiary education has witnessed a downswing in terms of infrastructure, in terms of quality, in terms of um, lecturer motivations for you know, empowering lecturers to be in the classroom and teachers, they ought to be. So we have continued to witness a downswing in our tertiary infrastructure, our university infra infrastructure in the country, giving wing to people going outside to study and even purchasing fake certificates from these places as we have seen. So the, the point is, we over the time we say that public government can no longer fund public universities and that has given rise to the proliferation of private universities. But at this point, we can see that the, the problem is not, the solution is not the proliferation of private universities, but in the maintenance of standards, in the empowering of universities to act, actually live up to expectations and aspirations. So that even proliferation of private universities in that sense do not, does not really solve a fundamental problem that is lacking in our university structure. So as much as we want to commend the NUC for denouncing the certificate racketeering, I must say that this is a problem that has been since time. Two years ago, this same news was announced. This same news was announced and we had the same opera. And again, it has repeated itself. What are the quality control measures in our education sector, the stopgap measures that do not allow this kind of situation repeat itself. So when situations like this happen, it calls for broader thinking beyond what has happened. Okay. The perpetrators and connivers should be brought to book, but then there are underlying motivations. Right. We must go back to the drawing book. Can you hear me? I can hear you, of course, I can. Uh, uh, let me put yes, it through. Yes, we must. Let me put you through this quickly. You've, uh, you've elaborated quite enough. Now, look at Nigeria, for example, even with the focus on degrees, 
quality of life hasn't really changed much. Now, thousands are still waiting in line to get a job. What do you think can be done to serve as an alternative so that bagging a degree doesn't become a situation of life and death? Pardon me, I, I didn't get that, please. Yeah, I said, looking at uh, the present situation in Nigeria, you get it? Uh, you know, uh, yes. even with the focus on degrees, quality of life hasn't changed much. Thousands are still waiting in line to get a job. What can be done to serve as an alternative so that bagging a degree doesn't become a situation of life and death? Yeah, so you've said it that uh, our, our country is, uh, is, a, is a country that is focused on certificates, even when that certificate might not necessarily translate into other forms of um, professionalism. So the point here is for us to improve our standards across all sectors, not just hmm. the education sector. And in fact, when we talk about the certificate not being life and death. Yes, it is true that we have to come to a place where certificate is, is not a life and death. But for us to do that, we must come back to the beginning. Mm. For a society to progress, education must be put at the forefront. Okay. With education comes the empowerment of mind and the possibilities that individuals in that society can go on to do greater things. If you look at Nigeria and look at our educational system, you would see that from primary to secondary to, and to the tertiary institutions, our system has collapsed. So that we cannot say that there is any meaningful gains that people who pass through that system might realize after school. And this is worse because at this point in time, government is even abdicating its responsibilities to fund public education. Mm. So that citizens can enjoy the quality of life that enables them to do something great with their time. So when you leave the funding of public education for charlatans to go in and do as they like, without coming under any regulatory control, that is what you get. Mm. Your question, if we are to improve the standard of living in this country, we have to go back to the books to make education a priority. Right. The government cannot keep saying that it does not have money to fund education. What it simply means is that the society can go into chaos. It can be all man for itself. Right. All right, Zikora. Quality. All right, Zikora, quickly, uh, we understand that time is of uh, constraint here sometimes. But quickly, let's look at this. Now, slight concerns for students who have graduated from these universities. Now, what is going to happen to them knowing now that the certificate they are brandishing is fake. They obviously weren't aware because if NUC had done a thorough job, maybe they would not have fallen victim. Maybe if the system had been transparent enough, they might not have fallen victim. So what, what will happen to them now with the degree they are carrying about? It is quite unfortunate that the students have become, students of these universities have become collateral damage of what's of this unfortunate situation. But the NUC is in charge of accrediting Nigerian universities. I don't think it's in charge of accrediting external universities outside the country. Okay. What the NUC does is to make sure that those universities, when you bring the certificates from those universities, they make sure that those certificates are certificates that are qualitative and they can they they can validate those certificates and say, look, this university you have, you have brought the certificate from is a thorough university and we um, approve of this university. So I don't think the NUC has any mandate to regulate external universities. So it's quite unfortunate that students have become collateral damage of this situation. But again, it still boils down to the point of which we are saying. If the education standards in Nigeria was as brilliant as it ought to be, as it used to be in the past, given that we are the giant of Africa and we have a reputation to live up to, People, Nigerians especially, who have become the bulk of the victims of this university. You can imagine Nigerians having to fall victims to fake certificate racketeering outside the country. It wouldn't have happened if our own education system was thorough, was strong, was bold. So what needs to happen now is for us to have a look in into our own infrastructure here. Why should our own students continue running outside the country to get degrees from charlatan universities? It's an embarrassment to our own educational system. It's a second-hand embarrassment. Given our history and our reputation, it ought not to happen. 
so that we have to sit back and think of how to begin to reinforce our educational structures so that other vi potential victims can not no longer become victims of of, of those kind of criminal activities run by universities outside the system. And it's also a wake up call for us to improve the quality control across all sectors of um, regulatory education, regulate, regulatory agencies in Nigeria. That would only happen if education is made a priority, public education especially, and funding, proper funding is allocated by the government and not the government coming to say that it can no longer fund education and it's going to introduce private players or allow private players to have a field day. As right. you have seen, private players are having a field day, but it hasn't improved the system. So All government right. has to commit to improving the educational system in the country. Thank you so much, Ikoribe, for your time. We appreciate you. Now we go on a quick break now. And when we return, Newsweek takes the center stage. Stay tuned.